Cote's Cube. Oh, hey, what's up? Cote's Cube here live the morning after the first contest of the WC Tour. Snapper Rocks, Quicksilver Pro. First off, congratulations to Mick Fanning, everybody. Round of applause. Uh, Justin Cote, website editor, Casey Coteen. Pete Terrace, photo editor. Amazing crew right here, so let's just get right into it. Mick Fanning, uh, starting off the year crazy. I mean, whippy, lightning fast. What do you guys take on that? Uh, Mick Fanning's been training super hard, and if you notice, when he got carried up the beach, he had a Red Bull, not a beer. Wow. Maybe, uh, I don't know. He's... So you don't think Eugene came out <laughs> that night? Eugene came out until later. Well, he's, I was thinking about that, too, because he's married now, and it's like, I wonder what the party was like afterwards, because I know if, if I acted, it's not as crazy as that. Sometimes my wife would get pretty pissed. Yeah. He has time to, like, party. He's got time to fix himself. <laughs> He's Eugene sometimes, so. Oh, I'm sure he turned into Eugene because Bells is like, what, 10 days away? Yeah. Afterwards. Yeah. Well, of course, I think Mick was a favorite to win, but uh, about B. Durbage, unsponsored. Uh, you know, he won an event last year, but he came out, smashed Kelly. Uh, he beat Parco. You know, he took out basically the favorites. You know, he's standing up in those tubes. And good style, too, for like a tall guy like that. What do you guys think of that performance? Well, they said B. after like his first barrel in that heat against Kelly. Did his first claim ever in a contest. Yeah. He came out of a barrel. He's like so mellow, and all of a sudden he was just like, yes. Yeah. He was amped. He was so amped. He just like flowed the whole contest. You yeah. Tell he was just in the zone. He won it with those barrels because I mean, it, like, just honestly, like his turns were, you know, they're good, but they weren't like slaters. Yeah. You know? I think those barrels like definitely took it for him. The judges obviously yeah. rewarding for that. But that that was the craziest heat because Slater had him comboed in the in like the last minute. And everybody's like, you could tell people were like, oh, Slater's going to advance, Slater's going to advance. And next thing you know, B just like pulls a super crazy drop to barrel. Yeah. Right in front of Slater, too. Yeah. That was sick. Nerves of steel. Um, so on Slater, you know, obviously Slater was uh, this, you know, the star of the event. Not only was he ripping in every heat, thought he was going to win, commentating in the, in the finals. And uh, it just seemed like he was like, I don't know, like happy or something the whole yeah. time, you know? It's a, it's a real testament to how he's like ambassador for surfing. You know, he lost and he had the, he didn't freak out, smash his board and run away, you know, he sacked up, went in the commentating box and he's, he's the best commentator I've heard by far. I mean, the insight that he has is just like, no one else can break down a barrel like that. And how was that too? Yeah, crazy. I think I think Slater he I mean, yeah. he gets overscored every once in a while, you know, but how long yeah. was that win? He should have got a ten in the semis, but the one before, I don't think that was a ten. Yeah, I thought it was He's, a high nine too, but it was it was incredible still. Yeah, it was crazy. I never got a, caught a wave that long, that long. long life. Yeah. Well what about I mean, you know, obviously, you know, you're talking about being an ambassador, but you know, it's a it's a quicksilver event. You think he'll act the same at a Billabong event or something like that, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's... Although he did throw a pretty good pot shot at Billabong. <laughs> he's talking about the Dervish, but that's competition for him. <laughs> that is. You know, hopefully it'd be... I mean, it seems like having, like, a guy like Slater in the commentary booth, you know, definitely... We all saw the webcast, like, in and out, in and out, because, you know, who knows how many hundreds of thousands of people are on there. So, congrats to ASPWorldTour.com. It was... Well done. And Quicksilver too. I mean, amazing event. Having Mitchell Ross, who's like the star of the whole thing, in the <laughs> channel. Guy. He was classic. That guy's sick. He charges like West Oz. You've yeah, seen yeah, everyone's seen crazy. photos of him. Yeah, yeah. Roth or he's so <laughs> amped. Like Mitchell Ross, sick yeah. dude. Hey, Great that's job. That's the guy that claims the open barrel. Yeah. yeah. I would see the highest viewed uh, surf contest on the web. Ever. Yeah. Ish. And there were a couple technical hiccups, but uh, if you switch to low band, it worked out. Yeah. Shmoo, uh, Martin Potter, Todd Klein, of course, Ron Dong, you guys did an amazing job for sure. Oh wow. boy. Dude, Doughboy. So good <laughs> job there. Uh, let's just get real quick on this. Um, yeah. Some controversy. Josh Kerr's frontside whip thing. You think it was overrated? I thought it was a little overrated. Kind of looked like a safety grab to me. Safety grab? How do you safety uh, grab when you're upside down <laughs> like that? I, I lost my head when I saw that thing. I was just like, I thought ah! it was, 
It was, it was crazy, crazy that I pulled it, but you know, Slater said Bob it was Yates, Brett Simpson. You guys been in that stuff. But Slater said it was like the raddest thing he's ever, yeah. one of the raddest things he's ever seen in a contest. Yeah, yeah I didn't mean, believe Pete I don't or know. Kelly Slater. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was. I don't. I don't they were just but, claiming it was like the craziest move ever in a, in a heat. But what about? I heard that and I was like, what about the know, score Andy's though? Air last year at Barra, that was pretty crazy too. But they only gave Josh like an eight on that way, and that should have been a nine. Yeah, for sure. At least. At least a nine. All right, we're uh, running out of time here. Uh, we just want to give a couple more props out. Uh, Ginger Ninja, sick. He's back on tour. Nick Campbell. Fifth place finish. That was epic. Uh, ben Dunn, rookie. Great job. You know, the rookies came up. Jeremy Flores. Um, Taj Burrow, looking hot. So we're looking forward to Bells. We're super excited. Um, you know, click online. We're going to have tons more stuff for you on here. Of course, all you favorites. Pete's picks, Pete Terrace, uh, Casey is gonna have a bunch of stuff on there this week too. Maybe. Um, <laughs> so, so click around transworldsurf.com. Thanks for joining us. Congrats, Mick. Good job, buddy. Great start to the tour.